welcome back to my channel first thing first if you guys hear a lot of wind and rain and like a million things going in the background there's literally a storm going on right now so like everything is just crazy i'm like trying to move angles so you guys have a good angle because it's dark it's just i'm sorry so if you guys hear the trees the wind i'm sorry i'm doing my best i'm gonna try to speak loud see so i don't hear it but in case you hear it i just want to let y'all know what's going on okay so today we're using the norvina electric eyeliners i had this probably like a month or two and i completely forgot about it until today this morning i looked at my drawer and i was like oh my god i forgot about this let me do a look with this so i decided to use two bright colors so i got the yellow and the green um the pink one is cute i do like the pink maybe i'll try the pink in another look but right now i just want to do green and yellow because my hair is green and i just wanted to try the green and the yellow because i really really love those liners and they're so bright and neon they're supposedly like glow in the dark so i don't have a uv light so i can't really like tell but they're really bright like kind of gives me like brazil vibes like what i did i really like how it came out it's something simple i didn't do like nothing crazy i didn't do glitter i wanted to keep it simple but i wanted to show the liners so that's the point of the video to show you guys designers and how i liked it and how it worked on me so another thing about the liners you do need water to activate them so i use a water bottle cap to have like my water inside and then i would put the brush in to dip it and clean it so whenever i use the yellow i would have to get my brush wet first and then go in the yellow and then it would kind of like look nice and bright you do have to go over it maybe a couple times because at first it's like a little light like you can't i don't know if it's the water but you can't really like tell so i did have to go over maybe like three four times and like a little bit like don't dip it too much because the more water it is the more like runny it's gonna look and yeah i just have to go over a couple times same thing with the green so i just didn't want it to look like green and yellow like weird so i decided to just do the yellows first and then the green and then try to blend it out i'm definitely going to use that norvina liners way more often now that i know how to use it and like i already have an idea of like what i could do next it's kind of like a coachella vibes like that's what the liner gives me like it's really really dope another new product that i used today was my morphe lipstick and my lip gloss so the previous video for my morphe Feet and Sephora haul I bought like three lippies because they had like a sale but knowing me I had to go back and get more so I decided to get three more shades I got it in the shade confess babe and free bird so the first lipstick I used was from morphe it's a cream lipstick in the shade babe this is actually a really nice brown i was trying to look for nice brown because i can never find like a good brown it's either too light or too dark and i can never find one in the middle but this one is really cute it did have an m but you know the m's gone um this is kind of like a brownish color it's not too dark or too light like it's such a pretty color i love how it looks and I wanted to use this on my lip, but I do like gloss, so I wanted to put like a gloss on top. So I decided to go in with Freebird. It's not the same exact shade, but it's similar, and I just needed a nice gloss. I really like how my lips look, especially for this look. I don't want to put like too much brown, you know, because I really want the eyes to pop. This look was all about the eyes, so I wanted something on my lips that wasn't too dark but too light. But it was noticeable, but not as noticeable. And I think this combo looks really good, so I'm happy with my results. Alright guys, if y'all want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on so you never miss my videos. Comment down below, like, and yeah, thank you for watching. Alright, before jumping into the Norvina liners, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Primer. This primer has been like my favorite so far because compared to my Anastasia, it leaves me too pale. I feel like I see a lot of patchiness and with this one, it just I don't have any of those problems and it really makes my eyeshadow pop. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite palette, the Amrezy palette, and I'm going to go in with the shade OG. This shade is very light. It gives it like some type of color, but it's not to pop out and that's what I wanted I wanted like a nice transition shade so I got it with a thin brush and I got a white brush so I could blend further now I'm gonna go with my favorite NYX matte eyeliner this eyeliner is my favorite I've been using it for two three years it's just amazing and I'm gonna use this liner to make my wing and then create a nice black base so I can apply the liners, the electric liners on the top. By the way, you guys can find this eyeliner in 
Target, I believe, and Ulta. I buy it in Target for like $7. I'm telling you guys, like, this eyeliner is so, so good. I promise you, it will not move. Like, it's my favorite. I always have a backup because it's just so good. Now we're using the Norvina liners and I did try them before but today I'm going to use the yellow and the green. So I'm going to do the yellow half. So I'm going to do it from the middle of my liner all the way to my wing and then I'm apply the green from the inner corner all the way into the yellow line meets. These colors are so bright and so neon. I really wish I had a UV light to see how it would look. But so far, I'm loving it. You do have to go over it a couple times. Only because since it is water-based, it can be a little runny sometimes. Like when I was doing this, it was like a little light. So I had to go over it whenever it wasn't that wet. Like you have to make sure your, your brush is wet. Just make sure it's not too wet. Because if it is too wet, it's just going to look messy and runny. Now I'm applying the green shade from my inner corner and dragging it until the beginning of the yellow shade. Then I'm going to blend the green and the yellow together so you guys can't tell the harsh line that separates them. Now the eyelashes are on, I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This primer was like my favorite before I met the Juno and Company. It's still really good. I love this primer so much. So I wanted to switch things up today and go in with my Tatcha. Now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty foundation in the shade Latte 300. You guys know I love this foundation so much, but I have been curious on trying other foundations out. So if you guys know any foundation or if you guys suggest any foundation, let me know in the comment below. Now I'm going to go in with my NARS concealer in the shade Tiramisu as well as my e.l.f. concealer in the shade Medium Natural. I love the combination of both these concealers so honestly every time I do my face I just apply both of them because they're just so good together. I feel like the NARS is really really good and the e.l.f. is literally a dupe to the makeup revolution and I just like the shade of the e.l.f. a little bit more than the NARS so that's why I mix them up but together it's just amazing. I love how they look and how they feel and it's just it doesn't crease it's just perfect. Now I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Macchiato. This is honestly a very popular shade and I can tell why. It's just a really good shade, especially for my complexion. And today I'm finally doing some nose contour. I still don't know exactly how to do it, but I'm learning and I just wanted to do it today just to test it out. So if it looks bad, I know like where I can improve on and if it looks good, then you know, I just got to keep practicing. Now I'm going to go on my Huda Beauty Baking Powder in the shade Banana Bread and I'm going to use this to bake under my eyes and my cheeks. Alright, now that we're done baking, I'm going to go in with the lipstick called Babe, which is a nice brown color and I'm going to top it off with my Morphe Lip Gloss in the shade Freebird. Now I'm going to set my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation Powder in the shade Sand. Now I'm going to go with my Amrezy Highlighter and look at that. That was by accident. It looks so cute and magical. And oh my god, look at the star. Oh, I love that. Now I'm using my Jeffree Star Setting Spray and we are done. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching.